Hello Star Wars fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another LEGO review. Today I'll be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Boba Fett mech, made by LEGO of course. So take a look at the packaging, let's move on, move over, move over to the build, the mech here. Let's take a look at the packaging. Well, you can see there's the image of the LEGO build, the minifigure and everything. You see there's the image of the minifigure. He is one, 155 pieces. Recommend for ages 6 plus. He's number 75369. And on side, everything else, you can see the image of the build and Lego Star Wars logo and everything. On the back, there's the image of the build and the feature. And there's other figures or other mechs, Vader and Stormtrooper. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's take a look at the mech build. Starting off with the minifigure first. Boba Fett. Man, take a look at this Boba Fett figure. The classic looking Boba Fett. Man, this looks really good, I would say. Not too bad at all. The helmet itself looks good. The whole printing on the figure looks really good. And you can see the printings on the arms there as well. Look at that. There's printing on the back, but it's, hinder, but it's covered by the jetpack here. And you get the antenna right here, which is movable, obviously, there. And take off his helmet. You can see the image of Tamara Morrison, both head here. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Not too bad at all. He does come with a blaster, obviously. And for articulation, there's not much articulation. Just as usual, Lego minifigure articulation. So, that's about it for the minifigure of both head. Yeah, I would say... I can see why the Lego, I mean, well, some other, some other collectors decided to pick this Lego, well, Lego collectors decided to pick up this Lego Book of Fed just for, like, the printing, like, some nice printings on the arms there as well. Yeah, still really a, a gr the best looking minifigure, I would say. And let's take a look at the mech here. Now, very identical to the, to the Vader one that I reviewed yesterday. It looks pretty good. The, it, look, it looks a, a little bit better, to be honest. Yeah. There's nothing much to it. Just the build. You can see there's like a little chest piece here, similar to Boba Fett, of course. Yeah, you can see there's like a holster for holding on his blaster and everything. So yeah, really not too bad at all. Not too bad. You can see there's an opening cockpit there. There's like a rocket missile there and everything. You can see he's holding the blaster here with a little stud there and everything the jetpack looks pretty built pretty decent i would say on the bottom there's like the areas for putting on the legos and everything but overall for this build it's really not too bad a little bit better to the darth vader version but still it's it's okay yeah well, the articulation is already the same articulation as the Vader one, so I'm not going to go over the articulation. So, for the feet, for accessories, he does come with, the mech does come with two, three studs. Well, two, if you take out the extra stud. Well, three or, well, three studs or four. Yeah, because I'll keep, I keep, like, the, the extra stud as, like, the fire mech neck. So, here, here's the fire mech neck here, so let's. Slowly go. Oh. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Woo! That's better. So, yeah, I might leave it on here. And also, there's like the little missile right there that I showed you. So, if you just. Oh. There. Oh! Landing on both head. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just flick it. Like. Let me, sh let me show you. Like. Miss. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, pretty well, pretty cool for Lego to add like a little deep little feature there. So let's put both fed in his mech armor like so. So let's slip the cockpit here and put the minifigure inside. And boom, there you go. To be honest, when I, to be honest, I was worried that his jetpack will hinder the armor, 
but thankfully it does not. Let's put these studs here for in this review. There we go. That's how I put the extra studs there. But overall, and I forgot to mention, he does come with like the instruction manual to tell how to build the mech. So yeah. But overall for this mech here, it looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Yeah, this is like the only cheap way to get a bull fed figure by buying the mech here. But still really a not too bad looking mech. Better than Vader's, I would say. Overall, the printing, the build itself looks good. The printing on the minifigure looks really incredible. And I do recommend getting this Lego set just because of the Boba Fett minifigure. Either when it's on sale or just pay the retail of, of $16. So yeah, if you're a big Boba Fett, go ahead. And I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Lego Star Wars Boba Fett mech made by Lego. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, this is the way.